cities with less in common than Moscow and Santa Barbara. Harsh Soviet winters versus the affluent life of endless summers on the California coast. But when a daytime soap decides to make the twain meet, anything is possible. Viewers tuning into Santa Barbara are usually turned on to sex, murder, and mayhem. But these days, histrionics are replaced with history, Russian style. There's a new generation here. A new Russia. The soap and its newest leading man, Jack Wagner, temporarily move locations to Moscow. Wagner plays Warren Lockridge, a reporter determined to bring the Soviet struggle to viewers back in the California coastal town. I've never been to Russia, but uh, it's a great experience. I find myself not really having to act, but I actually get involved in asking the questions, you know, and with the people and what they have to say. It's very moving. Much of what the viewers will see wasn't scripted, and the interviews are with real Soviet citizens. And you would have died, given up your life, rather than have the coup succeed. Yes? I think that uh, many people would have rather died, yes. The show's co-creator felt the Soviet coup and the downfall of communism were such an important part of world history that they couldn't be ignored, not even on a soap. We wanted to give a little stature, a little guts, a little heft to the soap opera in a way that it hasn't been done before. Also never done before, Soviet citizens will be able to watch Santa Barbara daily beginning December 2nd. It's the first American daytime drama being broadcast in the Soviet Union. If Wagner gets his way, this won't be the last time Santa Barbara travels to an exotic location. My character, you know, this uh, Warren Lockridge guy is a bit of an Ernest Hemingway-esque you know, type. So uh, he, uh, at any moment, could go to the next natural disaster or world event, uh, hopefully, if NBC gives me the budget. Those special Santa Barbara episodes will begin next Tuesday and will run through the end of the month. В России наступила демократия. Коммунизм со своими репрессивными методами умер. Выросло новое поколение, новая Россия. Ее ждет нелегкое будущее. В Москве суровые зимы, здесь не хватает еды. Производственные технологии устарели, инфраструктура не развита. Нет базы для развития демократии. Народ должен начинать с нуля. У него нет ничего, кроме ржавых машин и устаревшей идеологии. Но Москва тронула мое сердце. Люди, вот на кого надежды. Ангел звезд задал мне один вопрос.